This is your announcer, Chugga Conroy here, saying welcome back to more Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. Last time we had a victory against this muscular dude this way. Now we learn the truth about the creation of the Unova region. We're here. Okay, come inside. Let me tell you the story. It's a really long story, but listen closely. It was two years ago when the two dragon Pokemon were awakened. The white dragon Pokemon, Reshiram, sought what is true with the desire to usher in a new world of goodness. And the black dragon Pokemon, Zekrom, pursued what is ideal, with the desire to usher in a new world of hope. Reshiram and Zekrom were once a single Pokemon. You may wonder why it split in two. The single dragon Pokemon had helped the twin heroes bring a new region into being. But the twin heroes, the younger brother who sought ideals and the older brother who sought the truth, sundered the region in two as they fought to see which of them was right. In that desperate hour, the single dragon Pokemon split its body into a white Pokemon and a black Pokemon, even though ideals and truth don't need to be in opposition. As the story goes, a third dragon Pokemon, Kyurem, also came into existence in that era. And there may be proof of this to be found in a treasure passed down in my family for generations the DNA splicers. The DNA spl passed down in your family for gen DNA has been known in your family for gener- Okay. Professor Juniper's research determined that the materials in the splicers date back to the same era as the materials used in building the Dragon Spiral Tower. Oh, the DNA splicers are stored very safely. I guard them because I don't know what kind of power might lie within them. But here's what's been bothering me. Could there be one more dragon Pokemon? Even if Kyurem really exists, we don't know what kind of Pokemon it is. For starters, the two Pokemon the ancient Pokemon split into are both overwhelmingly powerful. So if Kyurem exists, could it be just a husk? A shell that was left over? Hmm? What was that sound? What was that? This world of ice. Haxorus, use Dragon Tail! That's enough, Haxorus. Not only did the ice stay unbroken, there's not even a scratch on it! What's going on? I don't think that's going to work. I remember you, from En's castle. It's bitter cold. I'm shivering. I'm shivering, but I'm alive. It's what the essence of life feels like. It's proof of my existence. But that's enough of philosophy. Here are the facts for your admiration. This ice was specially created by Team Plasma's technology. As long as we have our secret weapon, you'll never be able to melt or break this ice. Let me explain our purpose here. Drayden, hand over the DNA splicers! Opelucid City is a city where the past and the future are, are entwined. Could there be a more perfect place for the splicers that connect the separated Pokémon? Do you think someone who knows what you did two years ago will just hand them over quietly? <laughs> That's what I thought you'd say. At this point, 
I'd like to threaten you with another volley of ice, but we can't use it for a moment. It won't be enjoyable in this cold, but I guess we'll just search for them. Those foul villains! Please, I want you to help me! We're going to drive Team Plasma out of Opelucid City! Should we go back into Drayden's house? What's going to happen to Opelucid City? Even Drayden can't handle a strange situation like this alone. It's cold. And dragon types really don't like cold. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, I know what I'm not using. Well, in we go. We can just barely slip by. They're getting tougher. Blaze, take care of the others. Here we go. That old guy... That old guy won't hold back even if his opponent is a young girl. I lost. I didn't stand a chance. Man, you all... Pff, man, Drayden and Haxor has already dealt with three of these guys. There's like no one left for me to beat up. And you're saying handle the others? Okay, here we go. Pokemon are pawns. They're a means to an end. That's what I was taught. Don't think about it too much. It's easier that way. If it doesn't matter who's doing the job, does it really matter if it's you doing it? We sort of heard about that earlier. I gotta say, this is a good act right here. Rather than, you know, some villain character trying to bring about some non-specific world-ending disaster by awakening an ancient Pokemon and they don't really succeed at it, no, they pretty much already have. We just saw a city get utterly destroyed and like it got frozen over. Kiram himself is important to this conflict. It could not just as easily have been anything else. There's real consequences of this and we see firsthand what happens if a legendary Pokemon, already well within Team Plasma's control by the way, is let loose in a city like that. They raise the stakes well. We see that Team Plasma really has no trouble controlling it. This isn't the usual trope of Maxi awakening Groudon and then realizing later that he can't control it. This is a good act, and it plays with Kyurem's abilities well. I couldn't believe that I was really seeing this in a Pokemon game when I first experienced it, and that's wild for me because I told you that I didn't really like Black 2 and White 2 the first time I played it, and I quit playing, a, you know, I'd say a little after Mistralton City, like I said I did on my first playthrough, so I wrote this game off as just not being very good and not having a story and all that, and then I got further in and I saw this, and I just couldn't believe what I was missing out on. Cosmic Power raises defense and special defense. That's a decent move. But I don't think it's better than having amazing type coverage like Harmony do. You little, you knocked out my stupid pawns. You should have had stupid rooks or bishops instead, then you might have won. Couldn't resist. <laughs> How could this be? Is this is that the kind of power that Pokemon have when they're not treated like objects? Uh, I was hoping that you'd follow up on that if I talked to you again, that would have been cool. Okay, gotta go around. This door, yeah, this door's frozen over. We can't go into a lot of the buildings. Drayden got out lucky, even though he's in the epicenter of the blast somehow. Don't get in our way, you bother. Bother, bother, bother. You're Winnie the Pooh, let's take you. I swear if it's like, ah, oh, no, they're all named Grot. And I was gonna say if it's Team Plasma Winnie, I would have laughed. Golbat, okay, well, uh, I swapped my team out in between battles. Aiden is now leading the charge and it's got a blizzard with your name on it. I wish this counted as hail, it would've been good. This probably would've counted as snow if we're talking about modern day mechanics. Thank God they got rid of hail. Some people might not be happy about them getting rid of Pokemon, but man, I am so happy they started getting rid of moves after a while because some moves were really just awful and obsolete and desperately needed to be reworked from the ground up. I, I like them getting rid of certain moves. I, I've always disliked Hidden Power, because I'm like, dude, Hidden Power was not invented so you could have perfect type coverage and a 70 power hacked move on all of your Pokemon that beats Dragon types. No, it was just meant to be a fun little move of low power that's like, oh hey, it's different for every Pokemon, but it's not really anything special. I, I never liked how Hidden Power was abused that way. I suppose you could make an argument for Terra Blast sort of being the replacement of Hidden Power. I'm getting really off track here. It really pains me to give you wet garbage, but I'm gonna dilute that stuff. God, I used to work at a movie theater a long time ago, and whenever the trash bins were full of, like, a soup of every soda that we sold with popcorn floating in it that was absorbing it, we called it Regal Juice. <laughs> Just makes me think of that when I'm watering the garbage here. I could go into the gym and do more mutiny. Or I could go down here and, you know, just kind of carry on. I'm already- the gym's already mine, I don't gotta do any more. I got a plan. This time we'll take over the Unova region. You, you're trembling already? From fear or the cold, either's good.
Yeah, not the smartest thing to be wearing in winter as we established back on that ride on the Ferris wheel. Uh, I did not exactly come prepared for the journey that was going to be full of ice. It's a viper, okay. Good, I made a good call. They were all like, oh, dragons don't like the ice, it's okay. Jade's got a rock type move, which not a lot of dragons do, so we'll be able to counter that. I'm gonna go for dig, however. Just dig underground, do your little dipping bird, dip into the ground. <laughs> I'm gonna just be so enamored with her doing the little dipping bird every time. Look at that. I don't know, it's just the fact that she floats around and then she lands on her feet and just dip, dip. <laughs> so cute. I didn't think anything would get me more than, um, than trap, back when she was a trap edge and she did the, did the whole boop thing with her mouth all the time. It was so cute and derpy. Uh, wheezing's a little awkward. You're levitating. Uh, double hit. So that says to me that you have absolutely nothing that you can do to me. I am fine to just go ahead and let loose with a Dragon Pulse. You're physical based. You didn't have a lot of attack power. You can have Will-O-Wisp, I guess. Sludge Bomb ain't gonna do garbage to me. Nice. Breathe some more blue fire non-fire. And there we go, level 47. Is this Dragon Claw? No. I don't know when Dragon Claw comes up. Even if I lose, I will not give up on the justice that Team Plasma deserves. Now that you mention it, I think I might have been ordered to comb the Pokemon gym. Uh-oh. Uh, we gotta get back to Drayden with that information and now. We can just leave to Route 9 if we really wanted to, but uh... Nah, I'll go over here. The only one left is Zinzel into the Seven Sages. Where could he be? Oh, what's going on at the Pokemon gym? Crap, I was just there. I shouldn't have- I should have committed mutiny! Here he is. Oh, for crying out loud. You always sound like you're so bothered to be taking over the world. I didn't expect to have to fight hampered by the cold like this. Well, no matter. The fact that I'm shivering means I'm truly alive. I misremembered this. I thought this happened a lot later. Well, uh, okay. Zinzolin, apparently. He's starting off his fight with Cryogonal. Ice type levitate for its ability with the move Slash, Ice Beam, Confuse Ray, and Reflect. I might be a dragon type and you might be fast for a tank, but you don't got the prowess to stand up to this. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good news because your second Pokemon is also Cryogonal with all of the same moves, just with Light Screen instead of Reflect. It's okay. Just gotta connect three rock slides and you'll be able to and you'll be able to win the fight. Making a lot of comparisons to competitive Pokemon lately. And then your last Pokemon is Weavile, level 48. Dark Ice type and pressure for its ability. Its moves are Slash, Metal Claw, Night Slash, and Ice Shard. I frankly don't stand a chance surviving this thing. It's got a priority ice move. Flygon gets hit by that, it's freaking done. I'm at half health. We're switching to Pignati. Ice Shard! Not sure if that makes physical contact, I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I was right, no. Brick, brick! Oh, Slash makes physical contact, nice. Soften yourself up for me a little bit. Weavile was such a necessary evolution for Sneasel to get. Sneasel was god-awful, especially in its debut, and man, that might be one of the most buff Pokemon ever if Glyscore was not already. Jade, getting another level. Have you gotten even stronger than you were in Lakanosa Town? How? Such a brief time. It's called leveling up. Look it up. You're a strong trainer. You definitely are adept at handling Pokemon. I believe I'll take my leave simply because I can't stand this cold. But imagine this. The Unova region completely covered in ice. To achieve that splendor, we'll do what it takes to obtain the DNA splicers. You were trading the whole time. No, okay, I'm being stupid here. Sorry. You're even better than I hoped. Thanks to you, we drove him off. I'm grateful to your Pokemon, also. After that, at least I, at least I can do is heal them with this medicine. Wait here a moment. I'll be right back. Hurumph. That's a new record for making it there and back. Look, Blaze. These are the DNA splicers. They were shoved up the dragon statue's nose, weren't they? This is what they were after. We're really fortunate Team Plasma didn't get their hands on them. I don't know what their goal is, but I'm sure they're planning something wicked. 
As we suspected, the hiding place was in the gym. Well thought out. If Drayden isn't there, we can't get in. If he is there, he's the strongest guard we could possibly face. It also explains why the Pokemon gym was remodeled. Whatever, the DNA splicers are in our hands now. It's beyond my imagination to think you'd use one of the Seven Sages to find out where the splicers were. Now you know then. We will accomplish our goals no matter what the cost. We don't have the ability to captivate the hearts of others like Lord N does. Instead, we will bend the people to our will with brute force. Two years was a surprisingly long wait. If they've been stolen from us, we'll just have to take them back. I was a little confused there thinking that they were about to take them because they didn't make physical contact. Don't seem to be in this area, however, they can hide their presence, so be on guard as you look. Guess that shows how slick they are if I didn't even notice them taking them. Our Pokemon are fully healed, so we'll be able to handle hopefully anything. <laughs> you don't really think I'd let you take the DNA splicers back, do you? We're getting to fight you! Wow, there's more to this than I even thought! We're actually getting to fight the Shadow Triad! Team Plasma Shadow sending out Pawneer! Hey look, it's Team Plasma's stupid pawn! I always felt like Ponyard should really have iron barbs, or at least rough skin for its ability, because just look at it, it looks like that thing would hurt to touch, and I always thought it did at first. Burrowing underground? <laughs> Making a scary face at a hole? Down you go, one hit wonder! Sending out an Absol, I like your taste of Pokemon. Speaking of Pokemon that were not as good as they could have been on their debut, but then they came around later, I see you have a theme going with your team. Yeah, you probably don't have a move that I'm afraid of. In fact, you might even set up a Swords Dance on this turn, so we're just gonna go straight for the throat. I can two-hit it. Yeah, I called it! It's almost like I've used an Absol before. I know how to work with its limitations. There you go. And one last Pokemon, another... <laughs> Wait, you led with a Ponyard and you're finishing with a Ponyard? To each their own, everyone's got their own taste in Pokemon, and I applaud people that make unevolved Pokemon work in battle, especially with the clever use of the Eviolite and with, you know, certain moves that they can get access to that evolved Pokemon don't and all that. Um, Z-moves in particular, making Eevee use it useful was one that I really like, though, but man, I hate to admit it, but you're a good trainer. <laughs> Aw, how unlucky. I don't happen to be the one holding the DNA splicers. I was just buying time for the others to escape. Cheerio, bye-bye. Whatever. Oh no, I, no! No, no, it's not your fault, Blaze. You were impressive. It's me who's let everybody down. Blaze! A strange ship was flying toward Opelucid City, right? I saw it too, I'm en route. Charon, that's Team Plasma's ship, isn't it? Yes, no doubt about it. Anyway, I'll be arriving in just a moment. Okay, I'll leave things to you. I'm just sitting here smiling. Ugh, if there were only two of me, then I could protect the town and chase after them too. Speak and you shall receive. Blaze, Drayden, glad to see you safe as well. Hello, Charon. You've grown. You've cer you have certainly grown. I hear you fill. I hear you're filled in for Lenora by becoming a gym leader in a spurious city. Thanks. We should save catching up for later. I have a good idea of where Team Plasma is hiding. The place with the lowest temperature in the Univ region right now is an area close to Homilau City. Drayden, please protect Elpalucid City. Typhoon and I will find Team Plasma. Very well. I'll do my part. And thanks. The chase I'll leave to you, but don't do anything reckless. Blaze, I could use your help if you're willing. You're a skilled trainer who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Team Plasma. That's my definition of useful. Drayden, we're off. Humilau City, huh? Is there anything to the north of Undella Town? Blaze, protect Pokemon from Team Plasma. All people should think for themselves about the nature of the relationship between people and Pokemon. It's not something Team Plasma gets to decide for everyone. You don't say anything new, okay. I won't let you down. The journey continues. A trainer from Aspertia City challenged and successfully beat Drayden. The, oh, wow, uh, I wasn't expecting to get lauded on the news right now. I guess the story hasn't gotten out yet. 
If we go out into Route 11, yeah, the way is frozen. We can't get out without going through this grass. Bombing this city was all just a giant conspiracy to sell more repels. That's what the internet would say if this happened in real life. And the same is true of Route 9. What? Wow! Barely missed the shopping mall, why don't you? That's nuts. We can't still make it. Oh, can we make it inside? Uh, we would have to get. Hold on. Let me see if I can do this. So we gotta go this way. We go down. I can go up here. Can't do anything about that. If I go down that, no. I, so you'd have to hit that spike on the right of where I am right now. You'd have to hit that from the left. And I don't see a way that I can land that up because I have to get onto that sign, which means I have to go through this grass, which is blocked off. And there's not any way for me to come in from the left and go down into that grass. I... Yeah, I don't think there's a way that you can get into Shopping Mall 9 now. If there isn't, I'm not seeing it. Feel free to let me know, but... That's it for Opelucid City, though. I think we've earned a little rest. Next time on Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. We head back to Wendella Town, as Drayden told us, and try to find the way to where Team Plasma's hiding. See you guys then.